Subscribe to Smartphone Tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. All right, guys, so welcome to another video. And in the last few days, we've installed a few custom ROMs and we've installed maybe TWRP recoveries, unlocked the bootloader and a whole lot of things. That is what this channel is about, customizing your smartphone and using it the way you would like it. But at times, you know, you really want to go back to the stock ROM for various reasons. One, it could be you want to make sure if the phone is working fine, say if you're facing any particular bug on a custom ROM, or if you want to give the phone away, sell it off or take it to a Xiaomi service center Center for warranty purposes in such cases it is always a good idea to make sure that your phone is bone stock and the bootloader is relocked as it came from the factory so that is what this video is about I've done this video for a lot of devices like the one plus six uh, you know the Poco phone f1 the redmi 4a and a few bunch of devices but in today's video we're going to see how are we going to return the k20 pro back to complete stock with the locked bootloader and we will do this by a file which is based on miui 11 so if if you're not happy with MIUI 12, you can also downgrade using this method to MIUI 11. But before we do all of that, as I have been mentioning in the last few videos, we are looking for a small donation from your end, 150 subscribers, $1 each to get the Pocophone F1 back to the channel. And once that phone is about to retire, I will go ahead and give it away to one lucky winner. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, guys, so welcome to another video. And as I mentioned in the intro, we are going to revert completely back to stock. Now, before we begin, I would like to share two things with you guys. One is what all will we need? And the second thing that I'd like to share is why exactly would you want to do this? Now, why would you want to do this? There could be two or three different reasons. One, you don't like MIUI 12 or you are having issues with your phone and you want to go back to bone stock and check if MIUI 11 works fine. Well, that is one reason. In this case, you can use this method to revert back to MIUI 11 and it will relock your bootloader as well. Well, the second reason is you are having some hardware issues with the phone and you want to take the phone back to the service center for warranty purposes. Well, in that case as well, you can revert it completely back to stock. And the third case is you just want to go back to complete stock if you're giving the phone away to someone, selling it off, whatever the reason. Now, these were the use cases for doing this on a locked bootloader, wherein you are going ahead and locking the bootloader. There is one more method wherein it just says clean all. I will show you that on the computer screen wherein you wipe everything and restore stock ROM, but you don't actually relock the bootloader. So you have that option as well. Now with that out of the way, let's talk about what all things will we need. We will of course need a Redmi K20 Pro and make sure you have more than 50% battery. Ignore the battery on my phone. I'm confident with what I'm doing, but as a safety measure, I would suggest you to go ahead and make sure you have more than 50% battery. Now, the most important and critical thing over here is you have to back up all the information before you do this, because everything on your phone, including your phone's internal storage, your contacts, everything will be wiped. So yes, I've taken my backup. You will of course need a Windows based computer and a USB type C cable, preferably the original one. And there are a few files that are mentioned in the description. So you will need the ADB and fastboot drivers to be installed on your computer. It, just Google search it, it's very easy to do, especially on a Windows 10 machine. And one important question or takeaway from my previous video for the Pocophone F1, a similar video was released is that a lot of people are saying they are having problems with Ryzen processors. The computers and laptops running Ryzen processors, they are having issues getting the phone detected in fast boot mode. Well, let me tell you, my system here is running a Ryzen 5 1600 and it's working just fine for me. So if you have any issues, let me know in the comments section. So yeah, you will need the fast boot flash file. You will also need minimal ADB and fast boot if you've never installed those drivers and you will need the flash tool as well. So considering that you've backed everything up and you are ready to go, you just need to do the first thing here is you need to boot the phone back into fast boot mode. Now, because we are still on Resurrection Remix, I'm just going to go to Advanced and go to Bootloader. But in any other situation, you just need to press 
volume down and power together keep it pressed till the time you actually see fast boot being displayed on your phone all right now once this is done you just need to grab your usb cable all right so this end of course will go to the computer and this end will connect to the phone so let's go ahead and connect it to the phone here now in this particular mode whenever you connect the phone to the computer if you've never done this then you will get a notification that installing drivers this and that and the remaining story well i will show you on the computer because that is what needs to be done from the computer's end now before we begin i would like to tell you that if it shows anything to you on the flash tool that it's done or it's waiting or you know you get an error don't disconnect the phone till you actually see the phone reboot and go to the setup screen of miui 11 even if it is taking more than five minutes such processes can take up to 10 minutes so you know i'm just giving you all the instructions from my experience so that if you are doing it for the first time you make sure you do not break your device and damage your phone so let's move on to the computer now all right, so first things first, we have the latest 11.0.6 MIUI 11 Indian stable build because my K20 Pro is an Indian phone and we have Mi Flash, the latest version as well. Now, we of course need WinRAR. I will leave a link in the description so that you can use the free version. So first things first, let's go ahead and extract Mi Flash. Now, I will be extracting this file over here just so that we can install it and i can show you the installation process the installation process of flash tool is very very simple and straightforward there you go all right so it doesn't actually install you just have to extract it now once extracted i would you know copy this uh go to the c drive all right and paste it okay now this is pasted to the root of your c drive always remember that because if you have like a lot of folders in which uh, you've gone ahead and you know pasted it then there might be problems while flashing now this is the file double click on it all right so you see this folder over here all right this is where all the files are now you can select this folder select extract to go to the c drive and select the me flash tool folder now make sure you don't use any subfolder over here and hit OK. Now of course this is a big file as I said and the extraction process will take a while. So while that happens you know let me go ahead and connect the phone to the computer and let me actually show you what you should look for. Now remember at this point all of it should have been backed up this is the last step you need to have more than 50% battery on your phone before you do this because there is no going back and once again a very very gentle reminder and a very very serious warning that while the flashing is in progress no matter what happens please do not disconnect your phone now let's actually go to device manager first before i actually connect my phone to the computer okay now as you can see over here it does say android phone and android bootloader interface now if you have minimal adp and fast boot which i have system wide installed the link is mentioned in the description so if you go anywhere and type in fast boot space devices there you go so if you get something like this that means you are set but if, if you don't have minimal ADB and fast boot and you have Windows 10, you can still go ahead and make sure there are no question marks or exclamation marks in device manager. Now, while we did that, everything is ready. So this file got extracted. So what we're gonna do here is we will go to the C drive and we will go to the Mi Flash folder and look for this file which says Xiaomi Flash. Double click on it, allow it okay all right so click on select then go to the c drive and in the c drive path select the me flash folder and select this folder which says rafael in global image 11.0.6 all right now once you've selected that hit okay and then you need to hit refresh now when you do that you should get this id over here which says device okay and then at the bottom we have two to three options which are worth a mention i will just explain them to you real real quick now first of them 
is clean all which means it will wipe everything on your phone including internal storage but it won't lock your bootloader save user data is something i would highly recommend not to use because it just flashes the rom like a dirty flash and it will give you a boot loop clean all and lock is what we are interested in right now because we are going to flash everything clean and lock the bootloader so select this if you want to go back to complete factory with a locked bootloader if you want to have unlocked bootloader but go back to a stock rom select clean all and make sure this is highlighted or this is visible over here now click on flash all right now one thing to notice over here it will show you the time how much it is taking and you know what file is being flashed let me actually take it to a full screen so over here in result even if it says finished do not disconnect what you need to make sure is wait for the phone to automatically reboot and go to the setup screen of miui 11. now at this point this is a big file and depending on your computer speed depending on the usb connection speed it may take anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes so please be very very patient yes it can take that much long the only reason or only time when you actually need to worry is if you see something red over here like flashing failed or this or that but don't worry even then you can reboot into fast boot find out what the error is and you can work a solution for that so let's wait for the flashing to complete and then I will show you on the camera that the phone actually booted up to MIUI 11. All right, so as you see on the screen in result, it, it does say success. And if we have a look at the phone, we are on the home screen of MIUI 11. Let's go to about phone. This is MIUI 11.0.6 global. This is of course Android 10. And let's actually go ahead and check out the easter egg and let's enable developer options so that we can confirm that we have actually downgraded the bootloader let me just reduce the brightness a little bit it's a little too bright out there but yes your phone like everything is working there is no harm to the imei or anything else so if you go to additional settings and then if you go to developer options and if you go to mi unlock status hit agree you can see that the phone is locked so this was a very very quick and easy and simple way to get your device back to complete stock miui 11 that to the latest indian stable update you can use this method on all the other xiaomi devices which are running a qualcomm processor because the flash tool works for all xiaomi phones running a qualcomm processor you will just need the right flash file that is the fast boot rom in case you can't find it let me know in the comments section which device you have and i will try to help you with that now with that said let me know how did you like the video and please subscribe to the channel until the next one this is kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye